All right, what's up, guys? Episode three here, 8 a.m. in the U.S., trying to get myself worked up for this. But this is some trading still last night that you'll see on the screen, probably. It takes place between 11 p.m. and maybe 1 a.m. Uh, in the U.S. I accidentally searched for the Barclays Premier League. As many of you know, I don't touch the Barclays Premier League. Too much competition, too many people trying to get those cards. I just stay away. Pick up a Didier Yaconen, team of the year, 4-3-2-1, popular formation for the Bundesliga. Pick him up for 9,000 coins. His average price is somewhere around 13,000 coins. The only other one on the market listed as a striker in a 4-3-2-1 was set for a buy now at 15,000 coins. So I went ahead and put mine up for, I think it's 13,500 buy now, and he does sell. Uh, what we're looking at on the screen is searching for more cards from, possibly from that guy that had listed that Yaconen. Uh, but I don't find anything. Think about that, Sahin, but decide to pass. Um, but I do find a team of the year, Jefferson Farfan, for a buy now of 10,000 coins, 14 minutes out. I saw this and I was like, you serious? Uh, who lists him for that? But, you know, this is one of those late at night, like, wonder deals. How nobody saw that, I don't know. I got really lucky because he's going to help me on my way. He sells for 19,000 coins, so that's a 9,000 coin profit. That's one-tenth of the profit that I needed to get to that 100k uh, milestone. Uh, and I was, you know, I saw that and I was instantly, are there any more auctions from this guy? Does he, you know, have I missed something? And you know what? I bet I did miss something. I bet other people had snapped up some of his other cards, but that's okay. Looking at my trade feed right here, you can see quite a few things have sold as we're nearing 1 in the morning, and I'm going to list everything for 6 hours, go to bed, uh, and get back up right now. Uh, I got up at like 7.30, and so I've been dealing with you know rendering and uh, commentating over this stuff. But you can see that stuff sold before I went to bed. Pretty awesome. That Torsten Frings right there is just driving me crazy. He will not sell. I knew he was going to kind of be a dicey sell when I picked him up, but I figured I'd take a chance. Figured I'd still make a few K. Uh, and right now, I'm just hoping I can get rid of him and make some coins. Picked up a Nuri Sahin here. Only going to make a couple K on him, but he always sells, in my experience, for at least 19,000 coins uh, minimum. And so a couple K overnight guaranteed is something that I will take uh, 10 days out of 10 and go ahead and list him up for, I think I list this one for six hours, list him for like 19,000, 19,500, but we're going to show you now my trade pile in the morning, and I started to do some math. So with the cards that have sold and with what I have left in my trade pile, I, I'll make it to that 100K, and that's really exciting. This has been you know, a crazy, crazy thing. Obviously, I still need these three guys to sell, but I've got 75,000 coins, and I've got three guys that are worth about 10K a piece. You do the math. Puts me up over 105K. If you guys enjoy this episode, stay tuned for the conclusion that will come around 2 p.m. here in the States. Thanks, guys, for watching.